How do you reassure parents that their kids are going to be safe when they come to your summer camps? So this started, uh, golly, probably about a month ago. So we started just with an initial survey to give parents up front, what are some of the modifications we were considering to the program? And we told them up front that we would be taking out field trips. We told them uh, that there would be increased PPE. We told them there would be limited group size. So what we've done is we've educated parents for about the past three or four weeks so they can make an informed decision of what the program was gonna look like. And through that, we offered them to continue with the program. And then last week, we, we spent every night doing parent meetings. And we just gave them the opportunity to have one-on-one -on -one dialogue or in a group dialogue. We did them virtually, uh, where we explained the camp program and then had a Q&A session at the end. And at those points, we got questions like, how are you gonna work with masks? How are you gonna work through physical distancing? And even in that, we would get people who decide this wasn't you know, something that they wanted to do for their kids this summer and they, if they had options. But I can't tell you the number of parents who thanked us uh, for the opportunity to, 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 in many cases where we wanted to fill that need for all day, all week childcare. Um, and there's a lot of parents who needed that. You know, They were going back into work, teleworking wasn't an option, how could we provide that? Um, so we really had to work the balance of here's the measures that we are taking but at the same time, we, we all recognize that there is risk. So parents could make that informed decision, putting groups back together. Um, but, but, but our intention and our goal is through the measures we have in place, kids can have a great summer and we can keep those safety protocols moving forward. The masks are you know, now mandatory. So keeping an extra eye on kids too. Yep. <laughs> so, I mean, when kids are running around and you know playing, their games, how do, you, how do you ensure that everyone's wearing their masks? And this is a case where we told, we, well, parents were not. So when the kids are running around, they're playing kickball, they're playing, they're, they're playing dodgeball. In those instances, they were gonna accomplish the physical distancing. So we, we're not going to require them at those periods of time. And that's where we can, we can stay in compliance with the, the governor's directive. Uh, most of our campers are under 11 years of age but you can run into other health risks if we've got them running around exerting that physical activity and they're still wearing that mask. So we're gonna comply with what the, direct, the governor has requested of us. And then when they get back into those tighter settings, that's when we're gonna, we're gonna be encouraging those to put, the, to put them on. And it, as you asked before, you know, we're gonna have some kids that we'll work with. And that was even some of the parents when they first came in. My child's anxious about having to put a mask on. She's only seven. Uh, and, and that way we're going to work directly with the mom and dad. We're going to work directly with the campers so that they can be successful. And like you said, for a lot of kids, this is going to be their first time getting back with their friends or getting back in these groups. So, you know, as you mentioned, it could help also adjust them to the school year, no matter what that looks like. Yeah, so what, what has been super helpful has been the work of just the county and the Department of Health and Human Services. So we've been looking at all of the information they're providing through their interim operations for camps as they're preparing the return to school, their toolkit. So I really do believe we can be helpful to parents uh, to start to get used to some of these practices, right? What is the classroom setting gonna look like? And so as we implement some of those same protocols into our summer camp program, as the school systems are trying to make those decisions for what they're gonna do in August, we're, we're taking the directions right out of their handbook uh, and being able to implement those. So, you know, our goal is always to partner with the community, uh, partner with the school system. So we all want, we're serving the same kids, whether they're in camp or in school, we're serving the same kids and we want them to have success. So we are really thankful for the CDC guidelines and others that, that really helped us to develop some of those protocols as we put into our operations plan.